there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. Today I'm very excited to show you something special. First of all, I've got this puzzle from one of my viewers. He wrote me an email and said that he wants to support my channel and he wants to send me a puzzle. And second, finally, I've got a chance to solve Reva Maze puzzle. That's right, I've got Reva Maze Blue from one of my viewers. And I was really surprised when I opened the box and find, found that there is another puzzle there. It's a Hanayama medallion puzzle, but uh, that puzzle I will solve in a different video. Today I'm going to solve Reva Maze Blue. Uh, this puzzle is very interesting. Uh, there is a maze hidden inside and the object of the puzzle is to navigate the uh, inner shaft uh, through the uh, set of mazes and remove it from the sleeve. I don't know the difficulty level of this puzzle, it's insanely difficult, but Reva Maze Blue is kind of uh, beginner's ver version, but uh, I've read some reviews and even this beginner's version uh, takes at least three or even more hours to solve. So I'm very excited to start solving this puzzle. If you like Reva Maze uh, puzzle, uh, I will put a link in the description where you can buy it. And if you want to see my attempt to solve this puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's get started. First impressions, puzzle is very beautiful, it feels very heavy and sits nice in hands. And let's see what I can do. So what, all, all what I know about this puzzle is that there is a maze inside and I have to move the inner part through the set of mazes and remove it from the sleeve. So what I can do now when I rotate the inner part, I can hear there is a click every time I turn it 360. Okay, I can move it. And that's interesting, the uh, core part is moving as well. So maybe it has something to do with the solution, we will see. Let's see what I can do. Oh, I think that I can remove it. Okay, that is the first step. Okay, there is amazing inside. Go this way here and... Okay, I think that that was the first trap. Okay, let's try to do it a little bit slower. So the first step, move it to the right, up to the right. And on third step, there is a trap. Okay, but now I made it slow and pushing from the left and I feel that it moved to the right a little bit. What is, okay, and trap again. Okay, now I know how to go around the first trap. And the second trap was when I was pushing the shaft from the left to the right. Oh, it was another trap. Okay, again this trap. Let's try again. I think it's gonna take quite some time to solve the puzzle. Okay, again the same trap. Okay, there is gonna be a... Uh, there is a trap. I feel this puzzle is... Uh, uh, I can solve it with my eyes closed. You don't, you don't need to look at it. You can just uh, feel it with your hands. You can feel the vibration and all the moves. So let's see what is my next step. Here, now it goes here. Okay, that was the place where I went right into the trap last time. Can move it. Okay, there is some kind of wall there. I can't go any further can move the shaft a little bit to the right, okay. And, okay, I can go to the, from left to the right. No, I can't go. Feels like dead end. Oh no, I can go there. Right into the trap, okay. Again, from the very beginning, okay. Here, I know. Sometimes even at the very beginning, when you know all the traps, 
you still have to be very careful and make every move very slow so that you don't fall into the trap. I want to see this maze from inside, how it looks. It's supposed to be like very tiny since sometimes I feel like I do just very tiny steps and that save me from falling into the trap. But sometimes I try to be very careful and I'm still falling into the trap. Okay, I'm talking too much and <laughs> I don't really know where I am now. Oh, I think that I know. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to the same spot where I fell into the trap last time. And here I went to the left a little bit. Yeah, here there was a trap. I don't want to go there anymore. So I have to find another way here. So I came from one side and I have to go, if I move it to all the way to the other side, there is a trap if I keep uh, moving the uh, inner part from left to the right. So I think that there is supposed to be another way somewhere in the middle. Yeah, there is another one and here I can move, okay, I can move down and up. Okay, that feels like there is a huge space there where you can move and fall into the trap. Okay, seems like that place is gonna be a nightmare. I have to go there again. Okay, so now I'm back to the place where I was trapped for the last two times. Okay, let's see, somewhere in the middle there was a place where I can move it. Okay, and here the funniest part, since there is like a huge space there, I move the shaft from left to the right just a little bit and from top to the bottom rotating it and there is like a huge space there and I don't know where to go next. So let's, I think that I have to make a step back to just to think what is going to be my next move. So I can clearly imagine what is happening inside. So I can uh, draw right now the whole maze that comes from the very beginning to, the, to this point. But I don't really know what is happening next since there is like a huge space. And it seems like there is a trap right at the end of this huge space. So there is supposed to be somewhere away where you can move the, uh, where you can go through the maze, but okay. But I don't know where is that place. So it's gonna take me quite some time to find the right place where to go okay that's it i'm again in that place where there is a huge space so there is like a small gate where i go through so how i imagine the maze for now there is a maze and there is a pin somewhere it is in a sleeve and this pin goes through the uh, engraved maze and sometimes it goes into the trap which is much deeper than the uh, the maze itself that's why i can't go back since the pin go, uh, falls into the deeper uh, place and then i have to return it to the very beginning and now the pin goes through the like a gate there is like a wall goes on the right and on the left and the pin goes through it and then there is like a huge space where I don't know where to go but I know that there is supposed to be a tiny bridge to go 
a little bit further. So let's see. Now I'm in this place. This time I'll try to stick to the bottom wall and move the pin along the bottom wall. Yeah, it was a trap. Okay, and I'm right there again. Let's see what I can do. So previous time I've been trying to do it with the bottom wall. Now I go to the top wall and move along the top wall. And now I feel that the pin is fallen into a trap. Okay, one more try. I've spent almost 30 or 40 minutes trying to find the way from this tricky spot. And it feels like I've solved maybe two thirds of the maze and I'm going through the tiny bridge to another part where it's going to be another set of mazes. And this tiny bridge is pretty difficult to find. So let's see. Now I have to push it very slow from the left to the right and at the same time rotate the shaft so that I can feel where there is going to be a bridge. But again, I fall into the trap. Okay, I think that I have to uh, make a small break since my hands are shaking a little bit. So I have to take a rest. It's been uh, more than one and a half hour uh, since I started solving this puzzle and I will continue after a small break. Okay, after a few hours of rest, I'm ready to try to finish solving this puzzle, but I'm not exactly sure that I can do it in the next one hour. So let's go to the place where I had troubles and I was falling into the trap all the time. Okay, and I'm right in here. So the next step, there is like a huge space there and I have to go somewhere where there is a small bridge. Oh my god. And I start from the trap again. Okay, let's try again. Okay, and I'm there again. Let's see what I can do. I can move a little bit. Oh my god, again. Maybe this time a little bit more lucky. Okay, another try. Okay, let's try again. There is like a huge space there. What if I go just straight? Oh. You know what? I think that this time I went. I, I, I went much further. So I think there is a bridge there, which is pretty difficult to find. But I think that I have just to go straight. That is just an interesting spot there. I, I want to see it when I solve the puzzle. Okay. Again, I'm right in the place where I'm stuck for the last hour and let's try to move straight and let's see what is happening. So now I feel that I went a little bit further, but this time there was like a bridge and I slipped from the bridge somewhere in the middle. So I have to keep uh, the shaft straight and move it from the left to the right a little bit more to go to another side of the maze. Okay, okay, let's try again. Now I'm in the middle. Oh, and that's interesting. When I move the shaft, I can feel and push it to the left. I can feel that somewhere in the middle there is like a point where the pin kind of stuck a little bit. I don't know if it's just because of playing a lot with it and the metal is kind of soft in that spot or maybe it is something engraved there to help me to solve it. We will see when I remove the shaft from the sleeve and can check the maze. Okay, let's move it from the left to the right through the bridge. Okay, now I really feel that 
I go much further than all the previous times and again the trap but that's something different now since if I fall into the trap before this bridge I can rotate the shaft like almost 360 but here I can move just a small move so probably this bridge goes all the way here and then it turns to the right or to the left and definitely it's gonna be to the left so to the bottom since there is a way where I can move the shaft now on the right so okay let's try again go to the same place okay this time I will try to go through the bridge but then I have to turn to the left or to the bottom so let's see if I can do it since I think there is no walls there so I don't have any guideposts so I have just to feel where to stop and where to turn to the left so now it feels like enough let's rotate it oh I think think that I went through the bridge okay and I'm somewhere on the other side okay and again the trap and again from the very beginning oh okay at least I know this time that there is a bridge and I have to turn to the left let's try again okay again let's go through the bridge and now turn yep yeah I have passed the bridge I have to make very small moves here not to fall into the trap again so I'm now I'm pushing uh, from the left to the right and rotating the shaft okay there is a way there oh I think that finally I'm in the second part of the maze it's actually not the second I think it's gonna be like one third of the maze so let's see what tricks do we have in here so but this time I will do everything very slow very careful so maybe it's gonna be a little bit boring but I don't want to go back and start from the very beginning so okay I went this way now up now I have to go to the left now up again moving to the right up to the left or oh, it it moves so far to the right that it's not very nice to push with the thumb so i have to use another finger but i don't know if it's an if another finger is going to be the same sensitive okay where i am now Okay, I have to push it from right to the left. Rotate it a little bit. Okay, that feels very nice. There is a dead end. I go back a little bit. Oh, there is another dead end. So I think that I'm very close to the... to solve this maze. Oh my god, that was a trap! Okay, I think that I was just so much close to the end of the maze. Okay, let's try again from the very beginning. At least I know how to go through the uh, difficult part where there is a bridge and I know how to cross it. Okay, and I'm very close to the most difficult part of the maze. Okay, let's go through the bridge. To the left a little bit further okay that is good yeah okay that is the second part of the maze but my hands are just shaking so much pressure now okay so I have to go through the last part of the maze and this time I hope that I will be able to open this puzzle 
so I have to go in a little bit to the left up there is a dead end here there is a dead hand and here as well now that was the last step where last time I fall into the trap let's do it very slow and pushing from the left okay that's it that's it oh yeah I think I think that I solved it and I have to remove it somehow okay there is a there is a mark here I think that it says that the puzzle is solved but I have to remove it somehow how to remove it oh my hands are shaking now I'm so excited that I that I'm at the very end but I don't know how to remove it oh yeah Ooh, wow. that is amazing who finally okay that was like a very long trip and let's take a closer look at the maze since the all the interesting part is right in here and there is a pin that goes through oh it's not clean okay so where i start solving the puzzle i think that i start somewhere right here so i go this way i think that i have to take something pen for example to show you so i, I go through this place then i go right here and there is a trap the first trap but there is like a tiny uh, place where i can go through then i go here there is a trap here as you can see the whole the long trap through it goes almost 360 then i go around in here here there is another tra trap in here then i go here when i put the shaft almost all the way back inside and there is a trap here but there is a like a tiny uh, spot where i can move the pin through then it goes right in here here then it goes there is like two ways one way is you uh, to go to straight to the trap the other way goes here again there is a trap here but there is a tiny place where you can go through then it goes right here oh i, ha I haven't seen this place so i haven't uh, got into this trap even once i think or maybe once usually i was going here and then right here and that is the tricky spot as you can see there is just a tiny crossing through this uh, part where there is a trap and there is no walls so you have to go through it and then uh, just feel where you have to turn to the left and go around this corner as you can see there is just a very tiny spot where you can go since you can fall into the trap again and then you have to go this way yeah there's another trap I've uh, I've been there you have to go around and the second part of the maze is pretty simple just left right left right left there is a dead end at the very big uh, at the very end so you have to go here around okay and that's the final trap which caught me and then you go here and the puzzle is solved okay that was very interesting and I think there is supposed to be something hidden inside let's try to remove it what we have inside there is some kind of a scroll Ta -da! certificate of ownership this is a certified genuine copy of the certificate of ownership and there is a signature of puzzle inventor that is a nice touch and the number of this uh, puzzle is 2080 i think that it is engraved right in here on a shaft and it is also on a 
certificate of ownership. Okay, that was a very nice touch to the puzzle when you solve it. Let's try to put all this stuff back. I don't know how to put it back. I've heard that if you put it wrong, you may end up with a very expensive brick. So let's see if I put it like this, this pin will go from this side. And now I have to put another pin. I have to put it from the other side. Oh, my hands are still shaking. I solved this puzzle, but my hands are still shaking. It was so much pressure solving this puzzle. Okay, and now I have to put everything back. So I have to align two dots on the side. Yeah, feels like right. Oh no. Okay, the puzzle is locked now. Yeah, and I can start solving it from the very beginning. Okay, there was a long, long journey to solve the Revamaze puzzle. There was Revamaze blue puzzle. It took me about three to four hours in total to solve this puzzle. The most difficult part was uh, very close to the end. Uh, there is a tricky spot where there is just a very short uh, bridge where you can uh, move the pin and you can't see it and it is pretty difficult to find this uh, way through the maze. But uh, when you uh, find this uh, way, it is uh, pretty easy to finish the puzzle since uh, the last part is not so difficult. But nevertheless, I'm very enjoyed solving this puzzle. Uh, I think that I'm hooked and I want to solve uh, other Rever Maze puzzles, maybe a more difficult version. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to try the most difficult puzzle, but definitely I'm, uh, I want to try uh, more difficult than the Rever Maze Blue. So if you enjoyed my video, hit like, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time!